Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Zanika here and today we're going to be doing a tech related video. I'm super excited because I haven't done one of these in a while. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my notes on my handy dandy laptop. Today we're going to be talking about the CompTIA A Plus and is it worth it? <laughs> CompTIA A Plus is super duper recognized. Everyone knows about it. Very respected in the tech industry. Definitely one of the entry level certs along with A Plus. A plus, security plus, and network plus your top three. If you're looking to get into like help desk or like IT support, then you definitely want to start out with the A plus certificate. It covers topics like hardware, software, networking, security, and troubleshooting. So the reason why CompTIA A plus and CompTIA itself is so popular is because it's vendor neutral. So if you're working with Windows, Mac, Linux, Linux, or any other operating system gives you a pretty broad understanding of those OS's. A cert from CompTIA typically is highly recommended, especially if you're looking to get into IT, like I said. It's super well known, definitely serves as like a validation of the skills you possess, the knowledge in IT support. If you were to head on over to like Indeed or LinkedIn and you typed in uh, CompTIA A+, it'd show you a ton of jobs are a ton of people companies looking for people who own who have the a plus cert now one time i got just bored and i was just on linkedin because i've been trying to jazzify and professionalize my linkedin you guys feel free to connect with me on linkedin but i noticed when i did type in comptia a plus industries like finance healthcare and tech also came up. I was obviously not surprised by the tech industry, but the finance and healthcare was super surprising. So it's widely known, widely recognized. As we know, IT definitely plays like a critical role in um, most industries, but it never crossed my mind that, okay, health and all the other industries, because everyone kind of needs a, not everyone, but most companies do need a IT support if they're not gonna outsource. So they might have a whole IT department. Now, everybody knows uh, getting into tech is a whole trend right now. Like you've seen like how to get into tech, everyone talking about being in tech and how much money they make. So, but the crazy thing is like, even though everyone's talking about getting into tech and how to get into tech, there's still such a surplus of cybersecurity jobs or jobs in tech in general. It's actually like insane. It makes me really happy because I think a lot of us millennials, I'm not a millennial, a lot of millennials, Gen Z and Gen X, is that what we're called? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. If you're born between 1995 and 2005, can you tell me what uh, generations those are? So having the CompTIA A+, you'll definitely stand out because not only do you know how to do it, you took a cert, it shows initiative, it shows that you know how to do your how to do the hands-on portion of IT support. I'm not saying that this cert is gonna give you you know give you a grasp to like all the big it rules it's not it's a basic entry level cert but it is one of the most sought after one paves the way for certs like security plus feel free to check out my security plus video that i'm going to try to link right here At comptia a plus is definitely the starting point if you want to take a cert like net plus security plus or even your ccna which is a little bit more specialized but the a plus does open the door for those uh sir now i'm not even gonna lie to you studying for a plus was not and is not that easy it's not easy it's a lot of information all of the comptia search seems to be a lot of information so which is why it's so well renowned because you have to know what you're talking about you have to actually study to pass the test unless you're just a really great test taker if y'all have good test taking skills please leave some tips in the comments for everyone like me who isn't the best test taker i know when i took my uh, security plus test i failed on the first try because i am just not a good test taker i get test anxiety and um you just get nervous not only test anxiety but just not separate the nervousness and anxiety and just imagine getting those both and it's just a terrible experience plus you forget all the little tricks and tips like uh guesstimation like getting rid of this as well as just knowing the information y'all like you just really need to know the information in order to pass the test i don't want to get too deep into comptia like comptia a plus let me know if y'all want me to talk about how to study for it where to get um how to pass it i want to tell you that it's not that even though I'm hyping A plus up like this, it's not gonna give you the most technical job out there. It is definitely a great entry level cert. If you're trying to be an IT support specialist 
or even a dust technician like this is a great start to start out with It'll, like I said it'll, it will give you the confidence you need to get hands-on when the customer calls you you can head out there and fix it no problem no anxiety it's gonna open doors for you in the job field you'll definitely get more I think it's just a really great starting point and it's a really great starting cert for anyone trying to get into IT so even if you don't need the cert for any specific reason if you're already in help desk and you're not feeling super confident I just think it's a really great way it's a really great starting point it'll deepen your understanding of hardware software troubleshooting techniques and customer service for me personally when I studied for sec plus um, compared to studying for A+, I realized I'm not as comfortable handling the hardware portion of anything. But studying, I realized I was becoming more confident, more proficient in hardware installation, troubleshooting, and repairing. And of course, if you're in the field doing hands-on, there is one thing that I want you to consider, and that is the price. It's not the most expensive cert. Like I've seen certs for up to $1,000. I think CISP is $1,000. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know that this cert is $249, I believe. And it is two certs. It is core one. It is two tests, my bad. Core one and core two. And um, it's also called 101 and 1002. <laughs> not only is it, is it a lot of like information, it's just you're gonna be taking a test twice in order to get the title of being A plus certified. I know that everybody's circumstance is different and that might be a lot. So you have to consider getting the study material, paying for the courses and paying for the tests, the two tests themselves. It's a pretty big investment. Like you have to in you have to dedicate the time into studying. You have to be dedicated. You have to decide, okay, I'm gonna do one hour in the morning one hour after lunch one hour after dinner whatever you need to do to stay disciplined to get where you need to be and i know everybody's situation is different so it's really important that you use the information you've received now and in other resources that you've um researched on and then decide if this cert is really for you like i said it is a great entry level cert but personally i started out with the security plus but let me just go ahead and answer the question is the CompTIA A plus worth it in order to get into the tech field? So based on everything we've talked about, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, yes, it is worth it. It's super recognized. You will get more job opportunities. It is, and it is, and just like every other cert, it validates your skills. And it's just like a really great starting point to get in and getting into tech. It's a really great foundation. I definitely want you to consider your own goals and your own personal world career aspiration. It's not the perfect fit for everyone. Like go ahead and like explore other certs. There's so many out there. I'm considering creating a cert um, video. Let me know if y'all want that. I hope this video definitely gave y'all the information you were searching for regarding CompTIA A+. At the end of the day, certifications are a tool to kind of expand your knowledge and open up some more doors for you in the tech industry. It's definitely not like the end all be all if I'm going to be successful in tech. It's really up to like you to decide your own path, dedicate, invest time, the money, the energy to get where you want to be when it comes to whatever you want. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is it's been a while since I've made a tech related video. Let me know if y'all like these. I will make more um but so if i'm a little if i'm a little shaky on this one forgive me the next few i think are going to be really good i'm really excited for what is coming to this channel please take care of yourself please do your research and don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one